Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. Today, with a message for Gemini, I have asked my guides and spirit to bring a message through the cards that will be uplifting as well as inspirational for you this week as you navigate your spiritual journey. If you are new to the channel, I'm so, so glad that you're here and I strongly invite you to subscribe so that you can stay in contact every week consistent contact with this high vibration information from the other side. And if you're returning to the channel, I so appreciate and am deeply grateful for your presence. Um, I really want to get into your reading, but I also want to mention that I am offering these very special time sensitive solstice readings. They are solstice and new year readings to help empower your next journey forward into 2021. Talk about karmic lessons that are done, what needs to be completed still, where you are on your journey. Very empowering information. So if that's interesting to you or you know someone else that might be interested, uh, there's information in the description below. You can also check out trueguidancetarot.com. Let's get into your reading. Gemini, Ace of Swords. This is the amazing energy that the universe gives to you this week. Interesting. We kind of match, don't we? My... <laughs> anyway, um, this energy is interesting. It is a call to shift perspectives about something, and we'll get into exactly what you're shifting later, but this is a chance to see something from a new way, and as such, carve a new way forward for you. Because of the shift in perspective, you're going to have a chance to do things in a completely new way, manifest things in a completely new way. Um, there's also a sense of command with this energy. It's almost like the signs from the universe are so strong coming through that you have to take up this sword, you have to take up this battle cry right now. I want to mention that this sword, swords are funny, the swords have double edges, right? So this may involve some cutting away, cutting off of things that don't suit, suit, uh, serve you or suit you anymore. <laughs> Trying to say both words at once. Didn't work out so well. Um, <laughs> so just keep in mind that swords are a way forward, but they're also a weapon to help you rid yourself of anything that's holding you down. Now we've got the princess of wands for the way you respond. And so I think in a kind of magnanimous way, there we go, magnanimous way, you take up the cry. You're like, yeah, okay. And you set out on your journey and you think this is gonna be a great adventure. But the tendency of this princess of wands is to be very hasty and impulsive with her decisions and to jump in a little bit quick too quickly before actually looking at what's in front of her. So yes, her heart may be pure and true, but her impulse and her her desire and her enthusiasm can sometimes get the better of her. Okay, this is starting to become a little clearer. We've got the Knight of Cups going into the King of Cups, going into the Ten of Cups. You have so many cups here. Now what's interesting to me is that we have the end and the beginning. We have an ace we end with a 10. We have the princess. She goes into the night. We're missing the queen, but we go straight to the king. So that's interesting. That may come into play later. This prince of cups is an idealist. So there's something, there's something that you're searching for or someone in your energy field, someone close to you is searching for that's an ideal of something. So when you're on your quest, when you've been given this go-ahead by the universe and you're out there, you may encounter something that doesn't, that seems to be what you're looking for. But when you look at the actual practicality, that may not be the case. They may not be there yet. So he, this, this prince is interesting. He's dreaming of becoming the king. He's dreaming of having this Ten of Cups energy. Uh, literally of having that that um, perfect family feeling of bliss and contentment, but also that feeling of being whole within yourself or feeling whole within your relationships with others. The king is something who he's kind of monitoring that, this, this energy right here. And he's so, the, the problem with this prince is that he thinks that he's the king. He believes that because he desires this energy so much, he believes that he is this energy. And there's a big difference between 
wanting to experience and feeling fulfillment and having an attained an energy and actually being that energy, right? So he's in love with the idea of being the king with this lovely Ten of Cups family and that rainbow in the background. He's, he's in love with that, but he's in a transition spot. He's not there yet. This energy is not there. So this, I'm not sure if I'm talking about you especially, or if I'm talking about someone in your environment, but either way, it's influencing you somehow. When I was looking at this reading, my guide said to look at the backgrounds. This is a very strange set of colors. It's, it's just odd. I feel very odd with it. Like it's this in-between space that's almost liminal, like it's not real. Or it's a gateway between worlds and it's just a little bit, not something you can grab. It's not tangible. This is a much more settled, growing, um, calm background, something that's very established. This is searching for that feeling of being established. And then we're able to support this Ten of Cups relationship. So going back to what we're going back to our reading here, again, going from the end and the beginning. What you're seeking is satisfaction. What you're seeking is fulfillment. That's what this Ace of Cups is, I mean, Ace of Swords is all about, that you're seeking a new direction for your fulfillment. And the universe is presenting you with an opportunity and the impulse and the energy to do that. But what is the problem is that the enthusiasm to find it the um, the desire to have it and to you're, you're just so happy that you've been get, given the go ahead. Um, that enthusiasm carries you into spaces that aren't fully formed yet. Okay. Um, yeah, another way of thinking about this, this knight cracks me up. He's dressed for battle from the waist up, except that he's not holding a sword. I don't his sword is tucked away. So he can't even really defend himself. He's He's looking for this ideal, but he's not grounded. First of all, his feet aren't on the ground, literally, and he's also not wearing any anything on his legs. So he's really not fit to be a warrior and, and fit to fight. And building these things takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of tenacity, and it takes a lot of like boots on the ground kind of work. Even building relationships that last, which is what we're also going after here, connections and heart projects, jobs, things that are related to your feelings, things that last take a lot of, um, I'm getting the word chutzpah, but that's, you know, that's one of my words, so I want to use another word. Um, it just takes a lot of tenacity and a lot of doing things that aren't necessarily pretty or glamorous. He's only interested in the end result, the pretty glamorous, lovely family, lovely dominion, lovely command of that domain that this presents. But he doesn't really, like I said, we're missing the queen. I'm holding the space between the cards where the queen should be. The queen would be the practical way of getting from point A to point B. So um, whether if this is you, understand you're missing a little bit of the practicality step. And I'm, I'm holding this gap for a reason, that there's, a, there's something you're not quite looking at. Yes, it feels great. This is so exciting, but there's a practicality you're missing. And if this is someone in your environment, this is what they're missing. They may be telling you all these beautiful stories and painting these beautiful visions of what it's going to look like eventually, but they're missing something practical of what it takes to get from that vision to the fulfillment of this actually happening. If this is a beginning of a new relationship for you, the, the advice here is to proceed slowly, all right? There's a desire, <laughs> like, okay, yeah, maybe you've met the person, you're running out after them, and then you're, oh my God, they're so wonderful. They're, they're gonna be everything, they're beautiful. They're everything that I haven't had in my previous relationships. Everything that was wrong, they're right. All that may be true, but what's missing in between is the relationship, actually, getting to know the person, understanding the fullness of the flaws, um, what it would mean to be with that person, what it would take to be with that person, and how that would also enhance your own life. So there's just that, um, that tissue 
that happens, the bond that happens between people that holds them together, which is how this comes into being. This is what's desired. That comes about from a long and in a long investment into putting emotional connective energy between everyone involved in this. But this guy's missing a step. He's only seeing the goal. He's not seeing all of the work that went into making this happen. He's just seeing the outcome. Okay, so if you've got questions about that, please let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. And again, uh, invite you to check out trueguidancetarot.com. There's a lot of amazing offerings on there. If not for you, then again, maybe for someone that you know. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week and have an awesome one.